Say someone asked us to find a one kilohertz signal that had a 200 millivolt peak to peak amplitude and a one volt offset. So we make our connection from our output to our input, high Z load, output's turned on, go into the channel one of the oscilloscope, and we don't see a trace on there. You know, what do we do? So first thing we notice our vertical division is 100 millivolts. So if our offset is one volt, and we're on 100 millivolts, that means that we're gonna have to be 10 divisions up, so we're gonna be way off the screen, we're not gonna see anything. So in this situation, the easiest thing to do usually is to change your volts per division until you see your signal. And in this case, around 500 millivolts, we're seeing a signal, and then you can see the sine wave's up there, it's untriggered right now. So we could see our DC offset. If we have a one volt DC offset, the sine wave is centered two divisions up from the baseline indicator, that's the little yellow number one right there. But it's not triggered right now. It's a little hard to see, it's really small. So if I want to trigger that, if I'm in the normal trigger level, or trigger mode, I go over to the level knob right there, I turn that knob, and you can see over on the screen, the trigger indicator is moving up, and it's still not triggering. So what's going on? It's really hard to get a trigger on that. Turns out with these scopes, you need to have a decent amount of amplitude on the screen in order to get a trigger. So I'm gonna have to do some adjustments. So if I wanna make the waveform bigger, I have to change the vertical division knob or the vertical scale knob, you know, rotate it counterclockwise, say go to 200 millivolts per division. Now I'm off the screen. So I could use the vertical position knob, that's the little vertical knob up here, to bring the baseline indicator down. You can see the yellow number one on the left-hand screen moving down and now I'm starting to see my sine wave. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, it actually tells you what the vertical position of the baseline indicator is. And if we know our sine wave has a one volt offset, if I bring that down to one volt, or negative one volt, then the sine wave is gonna be centered in the middle of the screen. So there I am, I'm at about one volt right there. So notice sine wave is centered in the screen, and it started to trigger, and that's because when we changed the scale, we made the sine wave at least one division, and it's triggering now. And so that's the important thing. So we could make it even bigger, say we wanted to make the sine wave a little bit bigger, and I'd go through this operation again, you know, move the position knob down, and now we have a sine wave that's using two vertical divisions. And you can see there's a few cycles in there, you know, it's a nice visual representation of the waveform and now we're all set.